Right, we're on uh, Alton Park, uh, and we've got the uh, the new cars from the update that's just come out on the pre-release beta. Little formula of kind of uh, transition cars from carts. 170 brake horsepower. We're on wet, and it's wet, so we'll take it easy. AI is on about 90%. We're just going to. Uh, feel our way around here because I've not done a lap yet in these short shift for the moment the cars aren't really going to go anywhere given the state of the track it's a 10 minute race and the track should dry up as we go on Lots of feedback coming through from the track and from the car. Brakes are good. It's a feeling them as well. That's not dispatched him. He's waiting there. Right, this could get messy. Kind of got messy. Come on, guys. Oh, yeah, that's messy. Have I got a reverse? I have. Oh, come on, banana. Get out of the way. Big spin in the first chicane. Not a good start. Let's see if we can catch the, uh, the back up. The rest got through. Lots of grip. A tiny bit of understeer. So it copes up here in the wet. I don't know where the puddles are, so ease it through. Yeah, the car seems really, really good, really predictable. Should make for some good racing if you want open wheel races. Starting to have a little bit of a dry line up here, then we can really push the car. At the moment it's a bit, <laughs> a bit slidey. I think we'll get the mid, mid part of the race working in our favour and just keep an eye on the tyre temps when the thing dries up. It's a bad place to pass, but let's leave it in fourth. Yeah. That's a second, watch the big puddle on the inside. on the outside, still a bit wet. That's a second, skip it. Skip it again. Cuts across the kerb. Said the AI is set to 90 and the, uh, this guy's certainly moving. Wow, that was a bit of a mad dive, give him room. Back in behind him. A little bit too aggressive on that last corner. Okay, that dry line is appearing, so we can start to push it a little bit. Change the back end stepped out a little bit. He's not for giving up his place, this guy. Let's try the inside. No. Nope. 
ride on the entry there. It's a bit, a bit cautious with the wet. Tire temps are good. <laughs> Change down was a little bit too aggressive there, we locked up on the uh, downshift. Right, can we get a little bit of a... No. Just trying to leave a bit of a gap and get a bit more uh, exit speed. Didn't work. As soon as you get offline, you're in trouble. I'm balancing the car with two wheels on the dry, two wheels on the wet. Ah, it shut me down. Going to plan, he's going to shut me down again. Jink back on him. <laughs> Just not enough to hold on. I'm really enjoying these new cars. Just the right balance of downforce, power, and grip. Got him. Got to back off because I can't take the uh, wide exit into it. I've held him, I've held him. He's looking at me on the brakes. Still there in the mirrors. Let's try and break his toe. Oh, his physical toe, mind you, that wouldn't be nice. Balance it for the chicane there on the throttle. Cars well sorted, as they would say. Because uh, we're on a H shifter, we spend most of the time just steering with one hand and changing gears all the time. A <laughs> little bit quick into there, back steps out, but really predictable. Side attempts are okay. I was a bit lazy coming in there then. Missed the apex by about, oh, I don't know, mile and a half. In on the apex. Bit of, bit of a river running across the track just on the apex. Up to third, back in on the apex. That we're on early. It's a fourth. Gear ratios are a little bit too short for that. Okay, let's leave it planted flat. Yep, no problem at all. So as the speed comes up, you're getting a decent amount of uh, downforce. And the chassis sorted enough for the uh, slow speed stuff where there's no downforce at all. Just got to watch that drop down to second. It will lock the rears up in this damp track. So the temps are okay. Board third, second, turn it in, balance it, turn it in, balance the oversteer on the throttle there. Don't seem to have broken the toe of the guy behind now, he's dropping back. To fifth, down to fourth, stay tight here because it's really wet offline still. 
But we'll go offline here just to get a bit of that heat out the temperatures. Heat out the temperatures. Temperature out the tyres, should I say. Again, we'll do the same here and we'll just get offline. Just have to look after them now. Let's come to the end of the race. Start pushing a bit now. Let's see what this will do. Okay, flat. Do not lift. Fifth gear. Here we go. Nice and smooth. And brake. Fourth, third, second. Watch the puddle. Just get a little bit of drift going in there. But too much coming out. Got the power too early. Okay, lots of lots of time to be made up here. Just cut this last corner wide across the curbs. You get on the power a lot earlier. Give it a blip that time going down into second. Try and do that to third. Try to uh, blip it in second all the time now, I think. So that back end has let loose a few times. That's a fourth. Oh, it's run a bit wide there on the second apex. It's a fifth. Okay, get ready for the downshift blip. Fall first. It's better. Still missed the apex, mind you, but <laughs> being a little bit uh, cheeky there with the limits. This is their last lap now. Yeah, there's places where you can use that. Uh, I've forgotten the word. The aero, shall we say. There's a place where I can use it more. Like that uh, first and second corners. I can lean more heavily on the downforce. That was the word I was looking for. Oh, these guys caught me up. How's that happened? Oh, don't go for it, don't go for it here. Was that a different guy? Am I being lapped? Or was that somebody who had an accident and has come back up for the field? Who knows? He's not hanging about. Don't push me in the wall. Fast and the furious. Tires again a little bit. Uh, have had enough wet tyres on the dry <coughs> but again it's all predictable nothing's snapping out there oh wide again on there I'm backing out too much and uh, the downforce is dropping off as the speed drops and I lose grip big block shift down to second and that's it well thanks for watching there is a uh, new track as well, Bathurst 1983. Yeah. Bathurst 1983. Lots of trees to kill yourself with. Back when health and safety wasn't a thing. Yeah, quick look at the car. It's, like I say, it's, it's kind of a transition car from uh, carts into open wheel formula with aero. So, 170 brake horsepower. Lovely neutral chassis. And uh, a decent bit of aero that kicks in quite well. Lots of feedback. Through the force feedback, off the track. And uh, overall, fantastic. So if you want to go and have a go at this one, 
and Bathurst. Uh, just go on to uh, Steam. Uh, go to uh, Betas and select pre-release candidate. You don't need a password or a code. And that'll load in and you can uh, have a play with it uh, for free. I don't know whether this is going to be part of paid content or, or what, but pre-release it's not. Right. Again, thanks for watching. I'm just going to uh, park it up here. Give you a quick, a quick view of what's going on before it rolls away. Just, just going to do. I used to do this on the uh, PSVR many moons ago. We can literally step out the car and bang my head off a wall. Ouch. Right, so as we roll back, I'm standing on the pad. There's the headless driver. Uh, you get an idea of uh, what we were racing. Lots of detail. Can I reach in there and get my foot on the brake? Hang on. It's there somewhere. There it is. Oh. Mud, dirt, debris and everything else. But yeah, looks good. Looks good. Right, thanks for watching. Adios.